Hello and welcome to Lauren's Travels. Uh, today's going to kind of be a little bit of a mesh together Frankenstein type vlog. I wanted to show you fun ways to display your pins, whether it's Disney pins or other pins. I'll kind of give you some examples on how you can display them differently. I'm also going to be sharing with you some of my visit from Epcot this past weekend. I didn't go for very long, so there really wasn't much to vlog. However, I kind of just wanted to share what I did vlog with you. I actually have another Epcot history video on the way, so stay tuned for that. But first, let me show you some different ways to display your pins. First up are different shaped cork boards. Now, cork boards is another way to display your pins. However, I really love the fun shaped ones and you can see some behind me. I'm gonna bring them up closer so you can get a better view of them. But I think it's kind of interesting to have different shapes and just kind of bring more personality to your pin collection. This is one of the cork boards I have and it's just a regular rectangle kind of boring shaped cork board. This cork board does have a decorative background and it was white. I took a paint marker and just kind of painted it blue because I wanted to have a different color besides white, but this holds um, some of my pens. <laughs> This cork board I actually found off of Etsy and it did come in different color styles, but I picked purple, my favorite. This one I actually found at the Target dollar spot uh, one Valentine's Day. I have definitely poked several holes through it, so I kind of wish I had bought more because I love the heart shape, but I think this one's pretty cute and I did put a little uh, Sailor Mars charm hanging from it to kind of decorate it a little bit more. Another fun way to display your pins is to make a shadow box, and I kind of showed this one in my Haunted Mansion video that I made a few months back, but I do plan on making another one just for my Beauty and the Beast collection. Now these shadow boxes do come with this like burlap background, so I found this uh, Haunted Mansion background off of eBay, and it kind of, kind of fits the frame just a little bit off the edge, but um, I thought it was kind of cool to just to give the background a little bit more decor. <laughs> Another fun way to display your pins is if you have an old mouse ears hat. Uh, I'm going to go with Belle. And what you do is you just kind of put your pins that are of that collection onto the hat and put it on a bookshelf or uh, anything really to kind of just give a little extra flair to the hat. I don't really like to wear these in the park, so turning this hat um, this bell ears hat into a pin display kind of just changes the whole hat for me and makes me actually want to put it on display instead of hiding it in my closet. Say you're going to the theme parks and you actually want to show off your pins. A lot of people buy the pin lanyards which you can wear and either show off your favorite pins or use it to put your trader pins on and kind of just trade around the parks. The pins that I bring to the parks are usually ones I want to show off so I don't necessarily trade the ones I bring. However, uh, it has been a while since I've actually brought my pins on a lanyard to the park. Another cool way to show off your pins is to wear them. You can put them on your jean jacket or your shirt. However, just keep in mind that this is poking a hole through the clothing, so make sure it's something that you don't mind doing that too. Uh, you can always go to Goodwill and pick up a jacket there or a shirt there that you don't mind poking some pins through. If you are going to wear your pins, I do recommend locking backs, and I'll put those linked down below. Um, these are just a good way to make sure that these pins are not gonna fall off of you and uh, either get scraped or lost in that process. And those are just some ways to display your pins. Um, currently, I have so many pins still that I need to put up somehow, and I'm trying to come up with fun and creative ways of doing that. So if you have fun ways of displaying your pins, please let me know down in the comments. And now I'm gonna share my Epcot day with you. So I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching this weird mesh together vlog. I promise I'll have better ones coming up in the future. See you next time. Welcome to Epcot. Oh, thank you. I'm at Epcot today for their last weekend of the Festival of the Arts. I'm really excited to be here and get some food in. It's been a very long time since I've been to this park and I've missed it so much. As soon as I walked in, I did some pin trading and I found two cool pins. I'm hoping to do a little bit more pin trading today. Our first booth of the day is Pop 
Eats and we got some of the soup with the bacon grilled cheese. It was very busy coming in. There was a line of cars, so it is a bit crowded this weekend. So it's something that's kind of a bummer for the day, but I'm trying not to let it ruin the day too much because I really did miss Epcot and being here. So yeah, excited to share my day with you guys. We still don't know an opening date for this attraction, but this area is clear to walk through. There is a bathroom back here and you can see the Skyliners going by. Still no opening date, but it is very pretty.